Statistics show that 90% of the U.S. population has had tooth decay at one time or another. Now, a Northern California author says what you eat can actually save your teeth. And joining us today is Rami Nagel. He is the author of the book, Cure Tooth Decay, driving down from the Bay Area this morning. Rami, thanks for being here with us. Appreciate it. All right, let's start off by asking you, how did you even begin researching tooth decay? Well, about two and a half years ago, my daughter had a little spot on her teeth, mm -hmm. and then very rapidly her teeth started disintegrating. And as a parent, I was really concerned. I didn't know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. So I started going on the internet and started researching. Mm -hmm. I also myself was diagnosed with having four cavities at about the same time. And you didn't know where this may have come from or anything like that? No, I had no idea, and I thought I was eating a healthy diet, so mm -hmm. I didn't know what was causing it, and I had no idea what I could do about it. All right, so we also have some pictures of, I, I believe it's tooth decay, and what it looks like, because I'm sure it looks really bad when you notice that spot on your daughter's tooth, so it really worries you then. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about your opinion of current cavity treatment, because you know now we're told to use fluoride and floss and all that kind of thing. So what is your opinion on that? Well, what happens is uh, you go to the dentist and you get the treatment taken care of, and then you have to go back in a couple of years. And people keep going back, and the cavities keep uh, reappearing. So when a dentist, what a dentist actually does is they, they drill a hole in your teeth, they put an artificial material in it, and then they make that hole in order to try to stop a bacteria from making a hole in your tooth. Oh. So it's only addressing the symptoms. It's not addressing what's making the hole in your tooth. So is that bacteria visible? Um, Can we look in our, in our mouth and at our teeth? And that's a bacteria right there. Can we tell whether or not we have bacteria on our teeth? Yeah, you can do a test that says that you have bacteria or not, mm -hmm. but it turns out that the bacteria is not what causes tooth decay. The tooth decay is caused by a deficiency of vitamins and minerals in our diet. Well, this is really going against the grain then, Rami. How, how, why do you believe that the current tooth decay theory is illogical? Well, the, the reason is, is because uh, they say these bacteria is that they eat um, sugar in our mouth and that they eat flour. We all know that candy, pastries, and all those foods cause tooth decay. Mm -hmm. The problem is that those foods have been designed, designed by industry so that bacteria don't eat it. So it doesn't make sense that a bacteria can't eat a food, but then when you put it in your mouth, the bacteria somehow eats it. So um, also, I knew the theory was wrong because I never gave my daughter any sugar. She never drank from a bottle. So there was no explanation for her tooth decay. Wow. So you say that there are foods that you can eat to prevent tooth decay. Yeah. Well, What are those foods? Um, just briefly, the way I got to that is... There's people all over the planet who don't have tooth decay. And uh, researchers study this, and they found that the reason why they don't have tooth decay is because they have a lot of minerals and vitamins in their diet. What kind of people are we talking about? Uh, people all over the world. Um, there's uh, native people from the Swiss Alps, okay. uh, people from the islands off Scotland, uh, indigenous people in Africa, indigenous people in Peru, Eskimos. Aborigines. Who, who don't have the kind of diet that maybe we're used to. Is that what you're saying? Right. They okay. don't have the diet that we have, but then when they switch to the same kind of diet with the sugar and the flour products like we have, then they get tooth decay. Okay. We saw up on the screen some of the foods that you say we could eat to prevent tooth decay. Some of uh, them being raw milk, yellow butter, organic eggs. Talk to us a, a little bit about that. So all these foods are really high in vitamins, especially What's missing in our diet are, are called fat-soluble vitamins. So raw milk, um, when you have the milk that's pasteurized, your body doesn't absorb it. So you have to have raw milk. And, uh, so raw milk is unpasteurized? Unpasteurized for milk. Okay. And in Fresno, you, the largest maker of raw milk is... Right here. Right here. In the backyard. Yeah. That's right. So okay. that's an excellent food. Organic beef or chicken liver. I actually like chicken liver, believe it or not. Yeah, the liver has these fat-soluble vitamins A and B, and we need those vitamins to help the minerals bond onto the bones of our tooth. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of vitamins that people in the United States, they don't eat those foods. They don't get those vitamins. And so their teeth decay as a result. Wow. How can we then take better care of ourselves aside from eating these, these kind of foods, according to you? 
Well, it starts when we want to make a change in our life and look at our lifestyle and look at the way that we're living. Um, because when you get a dental treatment, you're just kind of, you can carry on your same lifestyle and keep getting more treatments. Mm -hmm. But here, people are being challenged to change the way they live so that they're in a greater degree of health. Okay. So they don't get sick. And it's all in your book, Cure Tooth Decay. Yeah, I wrote a book, and my, I wrote the book because I wanted to empower people to take control of their health. So everything in this book makes you an independent tooth expert to make the best decisions for your health and for your teeth. And you obviously did a lot of research on this because you're not a dentist or anything like that, right? That's right, I'm not a dentist. <laughs> and that helped me uh, see it from a broader perspective. Okay. And all my research is based on research of dentists and some of the most respected dentists that ever lived. And somehow our culture has forgotten their message to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you referred with a lot of those doctors. Uh, dentists, I should say. Well, I worked on their research. They're not alive anymore, and there's not really too many dentists practicing okay. what I teach here. There is a website right there, curetoothdecay.com, uh, for more information. And you can get your book on that as well, or you can go yeah, to Yeah, my book is on uh, curetoothdecay.com and on amazon.com. And my book has a protocol that you can follow, and the protocol can be adjusted. And it also has a special protocol for children, because children is a special... Scenario. Yeah, sometimes we forget about our kids and how important it is to keep their teeth nice and healthy. Listen, Rami, thank you so much for being here and for driving all the way down to tell us about your book. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, have a great weekend and stay dry.